Now, the way I see it, there are two kinds of nursing homes. There's the really active kind, dancing every Tuesday, regular trips outside the nursing home. And then there's the kind where uh, it seems that the staff is afraid to let people move. Where some people are in bed each day at 6.30 in the evening, and people are even in bed a lot of the day as well. Okay, there's a third kind. Places where the staff are working together to try to find the right balance between activity and autonomy and safety. What we're talking about here is mobility. How can we optimize the mobility for the residents? I'm Dominic Kinesi. I play Uncle Junior on The Sopranos. And I'm joined by Alice Bonner from Advancing Excellence. Alice, how are you today? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Well, not bad. I only fell twice this week. What? No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm glad you didn't have any injuries, Dominic. There are many reasons for, for falling, aren't there? Absolutely. But in nursing homes, when we limit people's mobility, that many times makes them even more likely to fall because they're not as strong, they're not as used to being up and around, their balance gets worse. Over 50% of nursing home residents fall each year, and some people do sustain serious injuries, but close to 100% of nursing home residents don't meet the physical activity guidelines for older adults. So while we want to reduce the number of injurious falls, of course, we want to keep people active. Oh yes, that is very true. I mean, motion and self-control self and motor skills, when people have that, they can dance into life. Mm -hmm. Without that, they're going, to be, they're going to be very unhappy and depressed. In a nursing home, with the nursing assistants and the rehab assistants, there's some other people that can play an important role, and one is a physical therapist or yeah. director of rehabilitation. Perfect. Let's take a look at this story from her perspective. Jody is a director of rehabilitation and a physical therapist. She works with residents to increase their flexibility and promote maximum function and ambulation. Part of her job is to work with staff to assess mobility using a standard instrument such as the one on advancing excellence. Ms. Fiore, you did such a good job today. I'll see you tomorrow for therapy. Oh good, I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Sure, have a good day. You too. Mr. C. Hey, good morning. It's time for your therapy. How are you? Well, what's wrong? We need to get stronger so you can get home. We need to get you down to the gym so we can do your exercise. No. Why not? No. Where's Mr. C? He wouldn't come to therapy again for the third time this week. <sighs> it's been so hard to motivate him lately. I know. What happened to the guy that was so animated and driven when he moved in three weeks ago? Hi, good afternoon. I'm here with my Uncle Don. <clears throat> I have his admission papers. Thank you. Don, Don, please. No, Don, 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 Don. Please. I don't need a wheelchair. Please, Don, please, Don. Please, Don. You know, you've been trying to get me in, in your nursing home for years. You're going to love it here, Don. Really? My nephew's trying to kill me with kindness. What's up with Mr. C? Um, his mobility has declined since admission, as well as other residents. Hmm. Seems like it might be sort of a pattern or something systemic? Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Okay, so it sounds like you're looking into the data. Yes. So this is not unusual. Sometimes in nursing homes, people decline in their mobility after admission, and there can be a lot of different reasons for this. For one, sometimes people are put on an antipsychotic medication, either right before they come to the nursing home or afterwards, and they get sedated. Sometimes they become weak from being in the hospital, and so they're not able to participate as much with activity or exercise, and they get depressed or discouraged, or maybe there isn't enough exercise offered. So it can be many of these things. The important thing is that we're not making assumptions about what could be going on with the individual case of Mr. C. We're actually exploring and brainstorming and figuring out together what might be going on before we figure out what we want to do for an intervention. We all want our residents to be as safe as possible while ambulating around the community and happy, so I think we need to look at this as a global perspective. I think that's really well said, Judy, and I think one of the ways that we can really get to that is by figuring out how do we use our data. You can see what's going on with an individual person like Mr. C, but you can also aggregate the data and then look at trends across neighborhoods throughout the entire community. So how do you collect and view your life space mobility data? 
right here on our Advancing Excellence Mobility Tracking Sheet, right? Yes. It's really easy to put the data in, but I find it real helpful because once we finish putting it in, it spits out this aggregate data, and in talking to the nurses, they're able to kind of interpret mm -hmm. a little bit more, and so it's real helpful to those of us that maybe don't quite understand what all this mobility, space, mm -hmm. life, movement really is. Mm -hmm. I really need to thank everyone in nursing and social work. You did such a great job getting families involved and all the hard work of the nurses. We did such a wonderful job. We need to keep up the good work. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm here to see my Uncle Dom. Oh. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. Oh, my oh, Uncle Dom. <laughs> look at you. Wow, you look great. I feel good. I, I, you know, I don't need a wheelchair anymore. Oh, that's fantastic. I started with the wheelchair, then I graduated to a cane, and then I still like the rolling wheelchair because I can put the cup in the basket uh -huh. and then the newspaper in the cup, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> Mr. Seen, we are so impressed with you. Most of the time, we can't even find you. You're always on the move. We're proud of you. Uh, I gotta go to my exercise class. Can I come with you? See you later, kids. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Advancing excellence, making nursing homes better places to live, work, and visit.